I wanted to share with you today something else that I do um, to make my vegetables last longer. And these are jalapeno peppers. And what I did was I sliced them up real thin and I'm going to put them in the dehydrator. And then after they come out of the dehydrator and cool down, I'm going to use this coffee grinder. This is great for grinding up, you know, uh, bell peppers and mushrooms and things like that. Uh, people in my family don't really like mushrooms, but I've ground them up and then I put them in a um, spice jar and I leave them in my cupboard and then I put, add them into things that would normally have mushrooms in them. So it has that little bit of flavor, but they're not, they're not chewing on the mushroom. That's what they hate is when they have, because they said it's slimy. So anyway, I use this coffee grinder and uh, grind them up real good, put them in a spice jar and add them to a lot of my meals and they never even know it. Okay, now they're all dehydrated, and you saw what they looked like on the tray before they went in. And this is after, and they're all dried up and everything, and they're real brittle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put those in that coffee grinder that I was telling you about. These uh, bell peppers, I, I ground those up as well. Um, your onions, your garlic, things like that. So... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the lid on, like I said, and then I'm just going to push the button and it's going to get loud. I'm going to shake it down a little bit. Take the lid off, and look at there. You've ground up your own spices. Oh, it smells so good too. So I had this used spice bottle, and I washed it out and sanitized it and everything. And what I'm going to do, and it didn't make a whole lot, but if you had more, you know, you can certainly make a larger bottle. But So you just dump it out of there. See? Most of it came out, and you just help it a little bit. And if you did this in a large quantity, you know, you'd have uh, some spices going on in there. And that's jalapeno pepper. You would just put a label on there saying what it was and when you packaged it. And then you could use that in your spice cabinet to spice up a little, you know, uh, meal there a little bit. I know the seeds are the ones that make it more spicy, but if you like the flavor of jalapenos, this would be great without, you know, having the chunks of jalapeno in there. So that's it, and then you just put your label and your lid on there, put that up in your spice cabinet. <laughs>